the banquet is ready, says the Lord. The banquet of the word of God and the banquet of the body and blood of Jesus. We offer this Mass for the soul of Maria Eugenia Marquis. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Acknowledging with gratitude the invitation of the Lord, let us cleanse ourselves, purify ourselves, asking for his pardon and mercy. All together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the, the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. For the intentions of Greta Fonseca. She is celebrating her birthday. May God bless her and her family members. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift you are faithful, offer you right and praiseworthy service. Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, we though many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them. If prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving, the one who teaches in his teaching, the one who exhorts in his exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. <coughs> Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. 
be fervent in spirit serve the lord rejoice in hope be patient in tribulation be constant in prayer contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality bless those who persecute you bless and do not curse them rejoice with those who rejoice weep with those who weep live in harmony with one another the word of the lord thanks be to god our response shall be keep my soul in peace at your side o lord can you repeat keep, keep my, my soul, soul in peace, peace at, at your side, side o lord. lord o lord my heart is not proud nor haughty my eyes i have not gone after things too great nor marvels beyond me our response keep, keep my, my soul in peace at your side, side o lord, lord. Truly I have set my soul in tranquility and silence as a weaned child on its mother as a weaned child is my soul within me response keep, keep my soul in peace at, at your, your side o lord. lord o israel wait for the lord both now and forever response keep, keep my, my soul in peace at, at your side o lord. lord gospel acclamation kindly rise oh and a heavy laden and i will give you rest says the lord hallelujah 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, one of those who reclined at the table with Jesus said to him, "Blessed is everyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God." But he said to him, "A man once gave a great banquet and invited many." And at the time for the banquet he sent his servant to say to those who had been invited come for everything is now ready but they all alike began to make excuses the first said to him i have bought a field and i must go out and see it please excuse me and another said i have bought five yoke of oxen and i am going to examine them please excuse me and another said i have married a wife and therefore i cannot come 
So the servant came and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house became angry and said to the servant, Go out quickly to the streets and lanes of the city and bring in the poor and crippled and blind and lame. And the servant said, Sir, what you commanded has been done and still there is room. And the master said to the servant, Go out to the highways and edges and compel people to come in that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited shall taste my banquet. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise with you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today's readings are more than just words. They are a call to transformation, to embrace love, compassion, and inclusivity. In the first reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, St. Paul points, paints a vivid picture of the body of Christ. As we are journeying towards a synodal church, St. Paul reminds us that we are all interconnected just like the various parts of our body. See, our uniqueness is not an obstruction, but a gift. We are called to live in harmony, with humility and a willingness to serve. Now, this passage is a plea to understand that our differences makes us stronger when we, are, when we come together in love. In the Gospel, Jesus shares the parable of the great banquet, a moving story of divine invitation and human response. The initial guest, those who should have accepted the invitation, readily made excuses and declined. Yet the host did not give up. You see, he extended his invitation to the marginalized, the poor, the blind, the lame. It is a powerful reminder that God's grace is boundless and inclusive. His invitation is open to all, regardless of our past sinful ways, of our shortcomings, of our social status. Now imagine a moment, in a, for a moment the beauty of a world where these passages are not just verses in a book, but a way of life. Picture a world where unity, humility, service and love are the guiding principles. A world where no one is excluded, where the marginalized are not forgotten, and where grace and forgiveness flow freely. Let us not just then preach this passage, let us not just read about it, not just let us hear it, but let us be living examples of them. Let us be the hands and feet of Christ, extending his invitation to everyone we meet. Let us embrace our differences and use our unique gifts for the common good. Let us look at those whose society has cast aside and invite them to our banquet, showing them the same love and acceptance that our Father did. Let us stand up for our rights, for truth, and more importantly, for justice. You see, we are all called to be different, to be a beacon of hope and love. We are called to break the walls and build bridges of unity. We are called to unite for the truth and ensure justice is done. Therefore, in today's Holy Eucharist, let the words of the first reading resonate in our hearts, which says, live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Let us therefore strive to live out these words, not just today, but each day in our lives. And in doing so, be living out the gospel. 
does as we continue to pray let us thank god for another opportunity to love him to serve him and more importantly to be like him for the offertory let us take him number b30 on page 75 sacrifice may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice from our hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all may these sacrificial offerings o lord become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with, and with your, your spirit. spirit lift up your heart we lift, lift them up, up to the lord. lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty and eternal god for although you have no need of our praise yet our thanks giving is itself your gift since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through christ our lord and so in company of the with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim holy fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread 
and giving thanks broke it and gave it to disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and philip neri our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your faith have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages may we may merit to be quiet to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen. amen everything is ready come and share in my banquet says the lord let us very closely be prepared for this banquet as we say the prayer Jesus himself taught us our father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us, give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but, but deliver, deliver us, us from evil deliver us o lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours 
now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Amen. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are you who are called to His banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hymn number C17 on page 81. <laughs> Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his good. 